Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Before we get into the video, I'd just like to thank all of you guys for helping me reach 100 and plus subscribers now. I think we're up like around 120 subscribers. Um, last time I uploaded a video, I was like on like 60 or 70. I know it's been like two or three weeks or something, but um, I was having issues with uh, accessing Premiere Pro and Photoshop or whatever, so I couldn't edit my videos or edit my thumbnails. But I'm back now, I'm going to be uploading more regularly and such. So um, stay tuned for more videos, and yeah, I appreciate the support, and yeah, let's get straight to the video. Now, I'm sure you're all aware um, that there is a huge amount of simulators on Roblox, and you might be thinking, like, how can you compete with them, because there's already quite a few that are really successful, but you always seem to find certain simulators that blow up anyways, even though there is a lot of competition in this kind of genre. In Roblox and um, I'm gonna get into how a few steps of, on how you can perhaps push yourself in maybe hit front page if you're lucky um, but create like a semi successful game and in a, on the minimum like it may not you know blow up to front page like for example like a game like bubblegum simulator or something which has been on front page for a long time but it will still get a lot further than um, your average simulator game Okay, so the first thing I'd recommend is um, figure out figuring out what kind of simulator you want to make. So there's obviously like there's driving simulators, you know, there's yeah the weightlifting simulator, all that. I mean, garbage which you really just click and then you gain points or something. It's really boring. Um, what I'd recommend is going for something more unique, um, a lot more fun, a lot more appealing to children, rather than just clicking a button and like lifting a, a weight or something. For example, you could do uh, something more like mining simulator or saber simulator, which is essentially a, the same thing, but it looks a lot cleaner and not a lot nicer and a lot more detailed. But it's exactly the same thing. Now, since I recommend making all your assets smooth plastic, um, I literally just go onto Blender. I'll show you a quick little video right here of me making a, a tree within like a minute or something. Uh, you literally just create your tree as you normally would and then you just apply a, a smooth um, modifier on it or you just make the, the mesh smooth and then it com gives you that more like cartoony look or whatever which is literally what every simulator has and you can literally just make any asset you want and then just put the smooth uh, thing on the mesh and then it just is ready for your map. The next thing I recommend is, which I've mentioned in previous videos, is references. So go into other simulator games, look at what what the maps are looking like. They always tend to be really, really bad, so that you can you can make something better a lot easier. Even if you're not even that experienced with Blender or Studio, you can if you push yourself, you will really make something a lot better than, for example, weightlifting simulator. Like the map is just a, a flat base, which is just random junk placed on the map. It looks terrible. Um, but yeah just look at references so look at other maps um, steal ideas there's nothing wrong with stealing ideas um, and then making them better uh, and then that should be that that extra step to pushing your game to be potentially better than these like front page simulators that you're looking at in terms of UI I know a lot of simulators are like very like highly UI based so there's a loads of UI um, that just floods the screen but people tend to pay quite a lot just to hire a, a UI designer and then I've had issues in the past where I end up paying this the uh, UI designer for all these different like UIs for like inventories all that kind of stuff and then they end up looking garbage and I hate them but I have to use them because I've spent that money on them however people are t tend to use um, the unity asset store which is not known by a lot of people in the uh, Roblox community but you can literally buy uh, like a huge like UI pack full of buttons all that kind of stuff for literally like 10, 10 pounds or like $15 or something like that and it's a complete set of UI so you don't have to do anything you may want to hire like a, a script or a UI designer to help you like um, make them like fix up the uh, health bars and stuff like that so they match but this saves you a, a huge amount of time a huge amount of money and a huge amount of effort um, and makes your game look a lot nicer because these are like professionally 
made uh, UIs for like real games outside of Roblox. Okay, so to finish off with this video, the last thing I'm going to tell you is um, fill your game with microtransactions. So like, um, you know, times to money, all that kind of stuff. Just fill it as much as you can, because at the end of the day, you're not um, you're not affecting anyone if you just like have a little shop button on the side, and it increases your chance of people buying it. And the whole idea of you know having a successful game is that you profit from it. Because if you don't profit, then you're essentially wasting time, wasting money, and all that kind of stuff. Unless you're doing it for a learning experience, then that's completely fine. But if you're willing to profit from it, um, flood your game with uh, microtransactions and make sure to um, uh, have events so during Halloween or that kind of stuff do do special crates or whatever because I created a simulator a long time ago and uh, it didn't profit at all it was doing really bad and then uh, we released a Halloween crate um, for uh, like a week or, t or something and it, it made like 150,000 Robux just on its own and it literally like tripled the the amount we were making after that so um we decided to keep it in afterwards as well and it just kept on and kept on and profiting and until we removed it um obviously because halloween ended at the time but um it, it generated a lot of profit for us so you must stay on top of events uh, like christmas time all that kind of stuff because th that's when kids are getting money or um, like their parents are like buying them robux all that kind of stuff so they're willing to there's a high chance they're going to spend more okay so that's about it for me from me for this video um i hope this video helped you guys out um maybe you're going to go out and make your simulator you know if it blows up you know hit me up you know i'll be glad to say I'm, you know i'm glad i helped you out or whatever um other than that yeah i'm, I'm up i appreciate the support you guys are giving me uh i'm growing a lot faster than I expected and yeah let's keep it going uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel turn post notifications on and um, I'll see you in the next one peace